Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, during this crisis, it's easy for us to think that our parishes, schools, and ministries are temporarily closed. But the fact is, they are busier than ever ministering to those in need and using all creative means possible to keep our communities connected. Live streaming masses, daily reflections, reciting the rosary, and of course praying for you and the parish community are just a few examples of ongoing actions. So the work has not stopped, but has been transformed because the gospel needs to be proclaimed and will be proclaimed. As shepherd of our archdiocese, I have always articulated three priorities, Catholic identity, evangelization, and stewardship. Catholic identity is who we are. Evangelization is what we do. And stewardship is how we do it. St. Paul could never have accomplished the ministry of evangelization covering the area without the contributions offered by the Christian communities who supported his work. They understood that their contributions were an extension of their faith. They sustained the ministry. Stewardship is often seen as the sharing of time, talent, and treasure. The use of talents by many in the healthcare professions are assisting our brothers and sisters to combat this virus, as well as representing families at the bedside of those who are dying. Our first responders are using their talents to keep us safe, and necessary service personnel provide for our well-being. Parents are utilizing their time to instruct their children at home in finding ways to alleviate their boredom. Some of our parishioners are fashioning masks for those who need to be in the public. We are all finding ways to support each other at this time. Many of our parishes are struggling, unable to gather for services in a normal fashion, and we need your support. When there are so many demands on your charitable contributions, at this time I am asking that you make your parish a priority in your charitable distributions. Through online giving or by mailing contributions to the parish office, every contribution, no matter the size, is appreciated and makes a difference. These are uncertain times. His resurrection is the greatest sign of hope Help your parish to stand as a witness to the fact that God loves us and is with us. As we struggle through this crisis, we pledge to love one another. God bless you.